All right, guys, so today we have a very special occasion, which is all of these knives are finished. Like 100% done. Uh, there are these five that are going to my classmates and my teacher from Augusta Tech. These two knives, which are commissions. Um, this knife was uh, commissioned by one guy, and then this one uh, was commissioned by the same guy who is getting this sword. Um, I just have to re-hilt it. I actually blued this one where I work, and I tried re-hilting it in G10, but the scales cracked when I riveted it. So, aluminum's not gonna crack, so I'm just using that. But I'll just go through and show you these knives. This one's got an oak hilt. Um, yeah, it's just got, both of these wooden hilts have uh, several coats of Johnson's Paste Wax um, slathered on and then wiped off, let to dry, and then repeat the process over several days. And they got a gut hook, Scandinavian ground edge on there. Pretty similar on this. This has aluminum rivets. This one has brass. And then these three are all G10, textured G10 hilts with brass pins. These three are pretty darn similar to one another. And then this one's the Meadwolf Hall utility knife. These are all quarter inch uh, 5160 steel heat treated to between 55 and 60 on the Rockwell C scale with these, I think. Probably around the 57 to 58 range with most of those. Uh, these two, I'm not so sure about because I did them at home and I didn't have a Rockwell tester for it, but probably pretty similar hardness. Uh, 12 inches long on this, these ones are 10. And Scandinavian ground edge as usual. This one was interesting because he wanted a tanto point. You can see that from the sheath, more or less. And he wanted it to be blackened, so I cold blued part of it and left part of the edge silver and shiny and put a tanto point on there. But I'm not doing more tanto points because tanto points are a pain in the ass. But those are all done. And I'll show you what I did with the sheaths, too, because I've been working on getting my sheath technique a little bit improved. Basically, I took a piece of sheet steel. It's not very thick. I mean, the clips are something I'm not entirely happy with on my sheaths, but they work better than nothing. Um, and I glued it, glued the clip to the sheath, and then wrapped it with paracord, and there's a little bit of glue in between the paracord and the clip as well, and then just wrapped the paracord around itself. It's it's pretty darn secure. Not going to go anywhere. But, yep, those are all done. And I'll be giving these to their owners later today. And this one, a uh, future owner has to get his money together. This one's just waiting for me to get this finished so I can ship those out and get the money for those, but all in all, life is good, work's getting done, sorry all this stuff took so long, it's just, I really have no excuse, I mean, yeah, I, there's no excuse for it taking this long, I'm just, I'm sorry, anyway, have a great day. Whoops. Have a great day.